nutrition nutrition and introduction nutrition is the assimilation of food materials by living organisms that enable them to grow maintain themselves and reproduce food is used to provide energy green plants make their own food using sunlight animals eat plants or other animals how do living things get their food depending on the mode of nutrition animals may be divided into autotrophs and heterotrophs autotrophs have the ability to prepare their own food using simple food material obtained from inorganic sources in the form of carbon dioxide and water autotrophs include green plants and some bacteria heterotrophs are organisms that depend directly or indirectly on autotrophs heterotrophic organisms include animals and fungi autotrophic nutrition carbon and energy requirements of the autotrophic organism are fulfilled by photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process by which autotrophs take in substances from outside and convert them into stored forms of energy what actually happens during the process of photosynthesis The events that occur during the process of photosynthesis are absorption of light energy by chlorophyll conversion of light energy to chemical energy and splitting of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen reduction of carbon dioxide to carbohydrates photosynthesis provides us with most of the oxygen we need in order to breathe we in turn exhale the carbon dioxide needed by plants cross section of a leaf if you observe cross section of a leaf under a microscope you will notice that some cells contain green dots these green dots are cell organelles called chloroplasts which contain chlorophyll chlorophyll is essential for photosynthesis opening and closing of stomata stomata are tiny pores present on the surface of the leaves the opening and closing of the pore is a function of guard cells the guard cells swell when water flows into them causing the stomatal pore to open similarly the pore closes if the guard cells shrink heterotrophic nutrition heterotrophic nutrition is the mode of nutrition present in organisms that are unable to manufacture their own food thus heterotrophic organisms are the consumers in an ecosystem heterotrophs can be classified according to the type of food they consume as holozoic saprophytic and parasitic organisms holozoic nutrition is a mode of nutrition in which nourishment is obtained by ingesting complex organic matter example man tiger etc saprophytic organisms absorb nourishment from dead or decaying matter example bread molds mushrooms etc parasitic organisms derive their nutrition from a living host example tapeworms nutrition in amoeba amoeba takes in food using temporary finger like extensions of the cell surface which fuse over the food particle forming a food vacuole inside the food vacuole complex substances are broken down into simpler ones which then diffuse into cytoplasm the remaining undigested material is moved to the surface of the cell and thrown out nutrition in human beings 
alimentary canal is the tube through which food passes in animals. It extends from the mouth to the anus and forms a large part of the digestive system. In human adults, it is about 9 meters or 30 feet long, consisting of the mouth cavity, pharynx, esophagus, stomach, and the small and large intestines. It is also known as the gut. It is a complex organ specifically adapted for digestion and the absorption of food. Enzymes from the wall of the canal and from other associated organs such as the pancreas speed up the digestive process. Dental caries Dental caries or tooth decay cause gradual softening of enamel and dentine. It begins when bacteria acting on sugars produce acids that softens or demineralizes the enamel. Masses of bacterial cells with food particles stick to the teeth to form dental plaque. Brushing the teeth after eating removes the plaque before the bacteria produce acids. If untreated, microorganisms may invade the pulp, causing inflammation and infection.